People were polled on how many books they read the previous year. Initial survey results indicate that the sample standard deviation is 13.7 books. So now we're going to figure out what sample size is needed in order to establish a confidence interval of, for, for certain requirements. So there's, uh, we want to know how many subjects, which is how many sample, how big of a sample size is needed to estimate the mean number of books read with, uh, within six books at 90% confidence. Let's go to the stat menu under T stats one sample. I'm going down to the width slash sample size calculator. All right, so what we enter here is we have to give it the standard deviation this at 13.7, and we give it the, the confidence level 90.90. Now we don't know what the sample mean is, but that isn't gonna change uh, this, what our confidence width, it, that's the only thing we need. We're looking at, we wanna estimate the mean number of books within six books. So plus or minus six books, Remember, that means a width is 12 books. That's the full width of the confidence interval. So plus or minus six means you have to go up six, down six, all together it's 12. Hit compute and you have your sample size. You only need a sample size of 17 to get the job done. How many subjects are needed to estimate it? Within three books. So let's bring the width down from 12 not to three, remember, to six, because plus or minus three books means in total it's six books wide. That's the one thing that you have to be very careful about here. Okay, 59 books. I'm sorry, 59 people. <laughs> what effect does doubling the required accuracy have on the sample size? Take a look at that. We go from 17 to 59. Um, let's just check in our calculator. Let's see how much have we increased by? 59 divided by 17. If you don't see it, that is, it's not quite quadrupling. That's the closest that this has. Uh, that's the closest option that we have. It's a, approximately quadrupling. When we've rounded off to the nearest subject, it's not exactly quadrupling, but that's the closest that we have there. How many subjects are needed to estimate the mean number of books within six books at 99% confidence? So this is now going from 90% confidence to 99% confidence. 99, and we're going to go within six books. That's a width of 12. Compute 39 people. So when we increased our confidence level from 90 to 99 percent we went from a sample size of 17 to a sample size required of 39 increasing the level of confidence increases the sample size required if you want a fixed margin of error greater confidence can be achieved with a larger sample size this is a textbook answer beautiful so that's the nuts and bolts of doing confidence intervals in StatCrunch for population proportions and population means using T intervals and uh, population uh, Z intervals. All right, great.